My freezer is devoid of fish. All I have in there is a, a half box of fish fingers. I'm going fishing for the weekend, but I'm not out to try and fill my freezer with fish. No. I'm out camping to have lots of fun and to enjoy my own company. They make a few lovely fries and have plenty of drinks, plenty of alcohol. <laughs> Somebody's after leaving their bag here. There's nobody around anywhere. I suppose I should look inside the bag and see if there a, a wallet or a mobile phone, anything personal. What have we got here? Strong rope, duct tape cable ties, a hammer, a sharp knife. You know what I think I'll do with the bag? I think I will just leave it here. I'll leave it there. Then I come back looking for it. If anybody comes along and they see that, they'll think it's belonging to my car if it's not theirs and they won't probably take it. And if the person comes back and owns it, they'd be delighted to see it there. I just leave it there. Yeah. I get out of my fish and I leave it there. <laughs> it's unusual to see a bag. It could be some fella after falling and bang his head there and he could be all dizzy and disoriented. He could be wandering up in the mountains. <laughs> Leave it there. Bloody hell. These waders, they're definitely after shrinking. <laughs> Put a stone in to weigh down my bottle in the water. Now it's time to try and catch some bait. Let's see if the little fish enjoy Pat the Baker's bread as much as I do. Water here is very choppy. And I'm looking in and I don't even see any little fish. They don't seem to be here with the choppy water. So I think I wasted my time. I tell a lie. I'm after catching two. I've caught two little fish so far. But I need a lot more than that. I've left my bottle in the water, hopefully to catch more fish. But it's time to go up and untie my boat. I'm thinking of 
lamb chops. As you can see, the level of the lake has dropped drastically since I've been here last. And my boat is on dry land. And I'm gonna need every bit of my strength to hopefully get this boat back into the lake. It's really rock solid. But where there's a will, there's a way. I always knew it was inevitable that one day, this day would come that I wouldn't be able to get the boat into the water all by myself. But it's not going to be today. The boat is full of little bits of sticks from the trees and bits of leaves. No, it's a bit of a mess and I like to have a nice clean boat. So I'll uh, give it a good wash. I'll put my little bottle here next to the boat and hopefully I may catch another couple of little fish while I'm getting my gear into the boat. Health and safety, I'll secure my engine onto the boat. That's perfect. Now the big decision, what fly will I use? I have so many flies. And what do I do? I pick the same two that I've used the last day I was here. I'm happy with them, I'm confident with them. And we're off. I'm driving up to the far end of the lake and I'm all excited. I can't wait to catch a fish. Hey! He's not very big. A beautiful, beautiful little brown shot. Little beauty. Beautiful little fish. Bigger. We'll throw him back. Beautiful shot. <laughs> A little baby up. 
beautiful trout. Beautiful trout. We let him go. I want the bigger one. I had a great time with the lake and caught lots of fish. But eventually it was time to call it a day. To put my tent, make a big fry, and have loads of alcohol. <laughs> It's shallow. Very shallow. When I arrived at the lake this morning, I had a very difficult time trying to launch my boat. But now I'm having the opposite time. Struggling, trying to secure the boat. The water is very shallow here at the beach, but coming late in the evening, fish do come into the shallows looking for food. So I'm going to cast out one of my little dead fish into the shallows and I'll put on the grub and hopefully I might get lucky and catch a fish. It's time to make a bit of grub and fill the bay. The man that invented that black and white pudding together is a bloody genius. A genius. They're still frozen. They're the nicest mushy peas. The nicest mushy peas. Ever. And we have a few Danahy sausages. They're absolutely beautiful. My doctor put me on sweets. I eat as many sweets as I want. So it's very good for my saliva. <laughs> and she said to drink as much alcohol as I want and as much whiskey as I want. I have a great doctor. She said the stress you go through trying to give it up will kill you quicker. So I have the all clear to drink as much as I want and eat as many fries as I want. And I'm stress free. We'll have to have a couple of tomatoes for healthiness. We'll have to have an egg. <laughs> we have to have an egg. The nice thing on that frying pan are the peas. I'm telling you, they're to die for. The nicest peas I've ever tasted in my life. They are unbelievable. Discovering those peas is one of the highlights of my life, including getting married. <laughs> Coat to perfection. I should say, burnt to perfection. Sitting there after the fine feed and lots of alcohol, I was about to nod off and then I spotted my raw tugging. What a perfect way to round off my fishing day, catching a nice fish. I caught a perch 
or they call them in Australia a red fin. That's what I call it. I thought it'd be a nice trout. I'll put them back. It's time to put up the tent. The ground here is very wet. It's dry here, but there's a decline here and you won't get a comfortable sleep with your tent there. So the best spot to put my tent, I think, is to put it up just here, just right there. That's nice and even and the ground's dry. That's a good spot. We'll put the tent up there. I admit it, I'm a skin flint, trying to save a few pence. I'll probably wake up in the morning with a sore back. I should have bought new batteries. Shoulda, coulda. <laughs> Cheers! sleep in on my big lovely soft bed the moment of truth it's a disaster seriously it's a disaster disaster I can't believe they're totally dead <laughs> I'll be sleeping on the hard ground tonight getting soft <laughs> a disaster we look on the bright side my wife bought me this beautiful cup I have my tea bag so I have my tea bag Cardboard never did anybody any harm. The doctor told me to drink plenty of whiskey for my chest. She said I have the best chest that she ever examined. <laughs> Cheers! That'll help me now sleep tonight on the hard ground. <laughs> oh, this is great. for the chest. Enjoy yourself and be happy while you can. I'm going to be a tent now. 
and I know I'm going to wake up now with a sore back. I know I have, and I'm probably getting eaten alive by midges. But I'm having fun. Cheers, and I'll see you in the morning. subscribers coming along with me on my adventures and I hope you'll join me in my next video which is the next morning after sleeping on the beach the next morning when I wake up I spend another day on the lake having fun so I hope you'll join me in my next video until then get out get out and try and catch a fish bye Oh, <laughs> they're warm enough. I must get them off quick before they bloody <laughs> before they explode. Bloody hell! Ah. <sighs>